Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Helpful Lock Picker here, and the video I have for you today is a challenge lock called Video Key, made by Fast Charlie. The key works to it very well, and we're going to get this lock open in just a second, so please stay tuned. Alright, so let's try to get Video Key opened up. This lock was made by Fast Charlie, April 21st of 2018. It's called Video Key because you can see in his video number 77 when he hand filed this key. He did a really great job making this key as he always does. His keys always come out looking very close to a factory key. This key works very smoothly on this lock and it does not stick whatsoever. And the factory key sticks just a little bit. If you ever want to be able to learn how to hand file a key, I recommend you check out Fast Charlie's video number 77 and that will have some really great info for you to get started. So let's start working on this lock. I'm going to use a custom top of the keyway tensioner in 66 thousandths and I'm going to use one of my generic standard hooks in 25 thousandths. You can find this hook linked in the description below. What I like about it is it has a pretty short shank height and it's pretty durable. As far as the cheap Chinese brands go, these work pretty well. So let's start off with trying to get this lock open. Got to click on one. Nothing on two yet. Nothing on three yet. Nothing on four. You probably heard that one click I got off five, but let's go back to the beginning. One feels pretty good for right now. Two, not binding yet. Three. Four. Nothing really off four. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Okay, got a little click off one. Now that feels very much set. Little click off two, three, four, five. Multiple, multiple clicks on five. on four, three, two, one. So I'm going to go down the stack again. One still feels set. Two, slightly springy. Three, four, See what five can do for us. Five, four, three, two, one. So, so far, this lock's not given me any crazy false sets or anything like that. One, two, three. Four, five. So now I got a very small amount of movement on the core, a little minor false set. One. One still feels good. Two. Might be slightly springy. Three. It's got a minor click. Four couple of clicks. Okay, now we got a big false set when I just hit five. So let's see what we can do to hopefully finish this off. One, two, three. Three feels like it's binding up. Counter rotation on three. 
got a bigger fall set. Making some progress now. Three, four. Feels good. Two, three, four. Okay, hit five again. Okay, two. Counter rotation and open this up. Fast Charlie, let me first start off by saying that was a really fun quick set lock. Thank you so much. Look at my finger. You can see how indented that was. It was really hard for me to really get the lock started. I wasn't getting many false sets at first, and congratulations on making me use a vice on a quick set lock. I did try once before lock in hand, and I went about seven minutes, and my hand was getting quite tired. So congrats on that really fun lock, and let's try to get this lock open. I know on the back here it says a shim must be used, and let's respect that, and let's see um, what's inside. So I'm just going to zoom out just a tad here, put the lock down, and um, we'll get this lock on gutted here. So... Okay, so let's see if we can get the back off without locking it up. But if we do lock it up, not a big deal. So we got our pinning tweezers, plug follower. Now I just need my pickle fork and my shim. keep all my shims in this little box here. Alright, so I don't think that has to come off. I think it's just this circlip here, which hopefully will just be a pretty standard circlip to take off. But I can see I can see now why you would want me to use a shim because that is really quite the gap there when you look at it. Just as a teaching moment when people are taking locks apart for the first time, you never want to have a gap between the plug follower and where you're going, and looks like all the driver pins would just get snagged very easily right there. So let's get this lock apart and see what Fast Charlie was able to make for us today. So, I'm going to insert my shim. And you can see this is Video Key by Fast Charlie. So, I think this little cheap lock pick did a great job, and this lock was a lot of fun to open up. So, cannot wait to see what we have on the inside. See, my key pins are on the top here. Alright, so I didn't push the shim through all the way, so now one of the driver pins here is going to be partially sticking out. So let's try not to lose that. Here it is. Our first driver has a, this is going to be a pen and pen kind of deal. Let's see. Yep, that's really cool. It's a pen and pen serrated driver. I'll get a close up of all of these in just a minute here, but while we're on the driver pens, we will continue with those in a copper spring.
then we have Still can't believe that pen and pen. Really great job, Fast Charlie. That's really cool to see. We have this serrated pen. Kind of a flat bottom, but it's like a double spooled serrated kind of pen. That's really cool. And I always try to put my pens in the orientation that they we're interacting with the spring so I believe this one was roughly like that and we have steel spring a nice thick one next up we have oops I pulled the shim out and we dropped them out of order okay so I can tell you that this one's pen 5 Hold on. A little bit of a mix up here. I apologize, Fast Charlie. What do we got going on here? Why were there double pens here? But either way, let's um figure this out here. I'll try to get these springs back in order. Okay, so this is the spring for three. It's a nice copper spring. Spring for four. I mean, sorry, steel spring, steel spring. Oh, is this a six pen lock and it was penned off a five pen key? That might have explained it. Tricky guy. Thought I was reaching back there pretty far. Oh, you're a tricky man. So this is a six pen lock penned off of five pen key. So, Fast Charlie, I apologize if I did not put these in order because I kind of goofed on the gutting here, but we will get this straightened out in no time. This is a really cool little lock. That was a nice little surprise. I didn't really count the pens as I was going, but I did feel like it was reaching quite back there, and I did feel a little off, but I guess that's why you shouldn't just assume when you are working on a lock. But, let's see. So, what I'm seeing in this lock is right now I'm seeing no threading in the plug, in the Bible, I'm not seeing any obvious threading, and here are all the pens. So, take a real close up here. You can see in one we have a serrated key pen, a spooled key pen, a spooled slash serrated key pen in three, then we have a really serrated key pen in four, a serrated in five, and a spooled in six. Then we have for driver pens we got this really nice pen and pen. Got looks like a serrated piece that goes into this little spooled piece and that can really make some interesting feedback. Then we have this little serrated T-pen looking thing in two, a serrated in three, a spool in four, a kind of double spool in five, and a spool and serrated looking pen in six. I'm not 100% sure on the driver pin order in three, four, and five. I'll have to double check with Vash Charlie and look at the feedback the lock was giving me as I was working on the pens. But these are the pens that Fast Charlie made. They're very beautiful pens. I'll try to get some pictures up of them as well. 
but wow, this is a really cool little lock. That was a nice little surprise and a good little trick pinning one off the key, making it a six pin, because you can only really count one, two, three, four, five on here. And that is a really cool lock, Fast Charlie. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Um, if you guys ever want to check out a cool channel, always check out Fast Charlie as well. He's really great at making keys, and you can check out his video number 77. But this is all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much.